get him again, but that one hand from Hartles. Defense, Switzerland on the attack again. This time, it is Nicklin. Five points in a row for New Zealand. Brilliant. Like, from very, very hard this time. Nice Sven Winter comes up with the first ace of the match. Full jump serve. See that arm ripping through. Just for blocking the line. Perfectly plays from JJ. Had a look. Defender go on the court to be able to execute a difficult shot. He made it look easy. What a dig from Klasnik. Then you can hear him yelling before he'd even put the ball down. Start yelling before they've even won the point. Well, an ace set point for the Canadians. Great effort by McNeil and Russell. The Canadians keep it alive and think over the top. Oh, Russell. Goodness me, what a point. Russell again, a mischief at the front. Friedel looking to find the space and he does. The sparing Russell on this occasion can't do it. Back to jump serve. Oh, and yes! that is an ace. And once again, fantastic sportsmanship shown by Lazar Kolarik, but a much needed ace for Germany. It was back to two, it's now out to four. Switzerland with some breathing room. <laughs> that one's almost in the bread basket. With tactic because there's no wind or read on the conditions out there. So they go to him again. Maybe they think he's the weaker of the two passes. He's the stronger of the two attackers. But I tell you what, line him up like that on a block. Rosa and Stankovecius at the net. They look like they're going to be doing a battle with each other all day, the number ones together. Here we go, that swinging southpaw. To use another boxing terminology. Oh! Do I jump? He was watching where the blocker was going to set up and he just let it fall in short, allowing his partner to use that left hand and change of angle. Good stretch on defense. Can he do it again? Yes. Oh, there's that left hand. Bravo. In it is seven, serving ten. Around play this time. Gura gets pushed back. Nassas with it. Good serve. Can he get another block? He can. Stankovecius. And he will serve. Kalinski is teed up by his teammate and he is duly blocked. And 24 year old asserting himself well around the courts. One more ace. And he catches the net. Light and shade of the Australian serving tactics. Hodges once again detonating that ball. As I was saying, the light and shade, sometimes if you've got both players jumps. Great set, but after the Campos set, Stankovic. Yes, another aggressive jump serve from Tom Hodges, coming up with another ace for his team, much to the delight of Zachary Schubert, which you can hear on the effects mic. Klinsky catches the net. Good athleticism from Huerta, who goes for the cut. 
Corey diving. Oh, absolutely brilliant from the USA. Corey diving. Oh, that's incredible. Let's watch this form, folks. He's really working the net on his serve. Great press. And Dillier, clinical in his finish. Latvia need a side out now. That's a great set. But equally aggressive block. Coming in, waiting, waiting. And just jumping into the... Pass way off the net. Del Corso has to bump set a little tight. There's a dig. Chance for Switzerland. Oh, the down with a monster block. Monster block. Asking for a net violation. I pound stuff. Whoa. Ho, ho. Such a great history indoors of European Championships, World Leagues, VNLs, you name it, they're into it, but on the beach. Still working out. The double up into the angle is a smart move. Benesh will know that Klasnic loves that wrist away play, but that's why he turns it back. It's one on Evans that brings them back to one. Off the net, Evans again has to try and chase into Hammer this one and does, but sat in the pocket is Klasnic. Klasnic off the net. Fantastic from Evans, but Kolarich is there. Fast play in the cover, trying to fasten the speed up. Kolarich, two's two from Lazar Kolarich. To start, we said that Serbia would gain confidence. Kolarich loves coming back and working the angle. Oh, Andy Bernesh. Made a swap block on the cut shot previously. But that's only one component of a beach volleyball player's art. You've got to have ball control as well. And that's what New Zealand have been trying to test. And that's a very good serve from Samo Diran. And there's a service ace for Jordan. That ball was well. Cuts it. Little gentle floater onto Russell. Long way off the net. And he's got his man. And after being beaten in the first tournament they played in. Three-point cushion, early doors, and it's a nice serve. Just deflects off the net, well passed. An even better block. It's in. Little cut on this ball to take it to the sideline. The jump serve over to Erlu. From the left. Diving save, Schubert counterattack, but Murmur gets a dig. Schubert again laying out with one hand. Can he get it this time? No, Murmur with another dig. And the third time is the shot for the corner this time. Such a nice whippy finish from Mexico. We haven't seen so much heat from them, so it was a really good time to bring that out. The compound error, it's always a thing when you get irritated or annoyed. It's another good step to see Brink and Abel back into the main draw this week after losing to Brill and Moziak last week for a ninth place. But also, Hugh Metrao and the Magic Man. So that's the women's head coach of Israel. The Cypriot did such a great job qualifying their team, or Cyprus's team, into main draws. That Oh, we'll come back to that in a minute. Duffy at key time here. Nothing between the two, but as soon as Israel... The knuckle turns the ball with speed over the top of the block. It's a nice play from Israel with nothing between the two teams. Didn't think there would be. Two teams have performed very well in the Futures Tour, battling out for a place in the Challenger Tour. When that looked most unlikely a few points ago. Deeper serve on Lewandowski. Poland to stay in. And that is a terrific finish. And Sergei Rene turns himself.